The Bugatti Chiron Sport, 2.8 million pounds of precision engineering and carbon fiber wiper blades, all driven by an eight liter quad turbo W16 engine with 1,479 brake horsepower on tap. It's got a theoretical top speed of 420 kilometers an hour or 261 miles an hour in British. Theoretical, because no one outside of Bugatti has ever hit it. But today, I'm going to give it a go. But how do you get to that truly staggering velocity? You need one Chiron Sport complete with its carbon fiber wiper blade, some speedy shoes, this very important VMAX key, curry versed for lunch, some training and lots and lots of space. Fortunately, Bugatti's owners, VW, have this place, Aerolessian, their top secret test facility just outside Wolfsburg in Germany. After an afternoon's training at VMAX in an R8, which was frankly terrifying, I'm granted access to this, the infamous Schnellbahn. With its 5.4 mile long straight and mile long banked corners at each end, it's the perfect place to finally see what VMAX in a Chiron Sport actually feels like. So this is the outlap, which we do at 200 kilometers an hour to warm the tires and get the pressures right. Because if the pressures aren't absolutely precise, high speed mode disengages. 200 kilometers an hour is 125 miles an hour. The winds at Aerolessian are quite gusty today. So there's wind socks all the way around the circuit. So you spend your time looking at them as much as you do your speed. We enter the banking at 200 and just sit here. The car will actually self-steer at 200 kilometers an hour, such is the gradient. Halfway round the bank, you begin to see the exit and you drop down into the middle lane. And on the next lap, when we get here, send it. But this is the warm up, so we'll keep it under control. Still feel the gusts, even at 237. You feel the car moving very slightly and in front of you, all you've got is mile upon mile of tarmac and a mirage disappearing into the distance. And you're sat here at 250 as you come up to the bump. Yeah, didn't I tell you? There's a jump in the middle of the straight. So the magic number we're looking for on the fast lap is 421 kilometers an hour. That's 261 miles an hour. So I'm gonna try and talk my way round out of the banking and up to 421 kilometers an hour. But to be perfectly honest, I'm actually struggling to understand how an ex-tractor driver from Essex is currently sat in this incredible piece of engineering about to go and see if he can post a VMAX run. But before we set off for our high speed run, I've just got to do one last thing. I've got to twist the key and set the car into high speed mode. So we put it in park, twist and release. Hattori Bugatti's signature comes up. Top speed is enabled. Put the foot on the brake and into drive. And off we go. Back up to 200k. And this is where it gets quite serious, getting quite sweaty. Palms of my hands are rather damp. 200 in the banking, sixth gear, halfway round, fifth gear, looking for the exit, looking for the exit, see the Ausfahrt sign. Don't peel off too early. Roll into the straight and send it. moving about 340 350 360 a lot of wind from the right hand side 381 390 400 over the front 401 2 5 9 12 Windows coming open. 417, 418. Come on, Chiron. Come on, come on, come on. 420. 421. 
Sorry, me again. Analysis of the data showed I'd got a little excited and kept the throttle in and actually managed to hit 423 kilometers an hour or 262.84 miles an hour, which to put into context means I was covering a mile every 13 seconds. Three hundred and sixty. I haven't hit the brakes yet. Three forty. Three thirty under the gantry. Three thirteen. Three hundred. Now don't overcook it into the banking and spank it into Wolfsburg. Two forty. Two thirty. What a car! <laughs> I've done some truly incredible things in my life, but pointing this thing between these lines at four hundred and twenty-one kilometres an hour is something I shall never forget. What a privilege. So there you have it, 423 kilometers an hour in a Bugatti Chiron Sport. That's 262.4 miles an hour. The fastest you can go in a production Bugatti currently. But for how long, who knows?